back with another game of Age of Mythology. The Titans joined with Chrono JJ, spawning on the bottom of the map in the red color. Playing as Odin this time, his cheeky repeater. His opponent today as Loki is Gabu21. The map is Drenched River. Seeing as you had some uh, some hand in this map, what do you got to say for it, Chrono? Um, it's, it's a little bit different. It's a very very high hunt it's you know kind of similar to marsh in that regard um but the uh the hunt other than your starting hunt is all forward so you can get pushed off of it and then if you get pushed off of all your glorious hunt then you can kind of find yourself in a bit of a pickle and when we've got two norses fighting each other the hunt is everything yeah, for sure. There's there's uh, an int the most interesting part about this map is that there's there's only three parts that you can cross, and they're fairly large, but it's only three sets of walls to make it quite difficult to be raided. Uh, so maybe we'll see these guys going for those walls. Maybe get some buildings as well. Maybe some forward buildings there might be able to control those areas. Um, for some reason, Cheeky Repeater throwing in the Odin here. He is definitely known as a Greek player, and Odin's not the best for this matchup, especially if uh, Gibu's familiar with the Heimdall rush, which on a high hunt map against uh, against Norse is disgusting. So we'll see what Gibu chooses to do. What do you got? Uh, any ideas for this uh, for this matchup here? Yeah, well, I can. I can see the Odin because of how much hunt there is. Um, the one thing you mentioned, the Heimdall rush, that's more of a, a Nilla strat. You actually don't see that very much in the Titans. No, that's um, because which, nobody knows I'm how to sure play why. aggressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that could be it. Because you're right, I think there's still some room for that Heimdall rush. Um, but... You don't see that very often. Well, I mean, and it's, I it's, doubt it's like a specific strategy, right, for Norse wars because the Iron yeah. are, are so strong. There's not any way to deal with them, uh, and Odin doesn't have access to four cities, so you can't even like chill in your base and mass trolls. Um, and then on top of that, cheeky repeat is like forward gold line, no watchtowers near it, and then you also have to compete with the undermine as well. Um, but we are seeing a home base temple from Gibbu, so none yeah, of no, those no, cheeky shenanigans. <laughs> nope. Seems to me, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm not an expert, but it seems like Gibbu's got a lot of wood bills for the Good time about. right now. Like, okay, now he's sending more over to... A little bit behind in yeah. food production, it seems like. This is kind of looking like we're going to see a far second town center from Gibu. If you put four villages to wood, um, it's a little bit more than you need to grab an early pickaxe, which is generally why if you put more than two villages on wood, is going for an early pickaxe. But with four, the only thing I can think of is he wants the extra wood for um, for a town center, because otherwise you just don't need it. Um, potentially, he's thinking he's going to need some throwing axe to throw into his army against... Uh, against Ulfsar spam, which is probably what Cheeky Repeat is going to go for. Uh, but yeah, they, the Ulfsar spam can work until the myth units start coming out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ulfsarks and myth, unit, myth units just absolutely ravage Ulfsarks. Yeah, they're difficult to deal with. And, and Odin, uh, Odin's got access to Hursa, but they're... Uh, they're not that useful, <laughs> uh, given they don't have the yeah. Hall of Thanes buff, or technology, I should say. I'm seeing Forseti for Gabu, and Chikabu is going through Freya. The spy comes down on the scrolling, which I like, because it, you get to see exactly what uh, army composition is going on, and what's happening in the, uh, in the base, and where the army movements are. Um, so it's always yeah, a good idea. Yeah, if that scrolling goes forward. Exactly. I like that. I think a lot of times too many players will just habitually put it on villagers. And you can get so much information if you know where the enemy's raiding units are. So I like to see it used on military. The only risk is that uh, 
the Skryling might stay in the base and build like houses and crap for a while. Yeah, but even if he does stay in the base, you've still got a, a good idea of unit composition and, um, and and army movements leaving the base. So you don't know exactly where they're going, but yeah, seeing the forest fire coming down, 512 into the game. Villagers don't get taken out, they just retreat and uh, I think it is. Take a look at this relic that Boo's got. Oh, the infantry hack vulnerability, that's gigantic in this matchup. Does that affect the yeah. Hursa as well? No, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't, though, but... So, I, I guess... Not a, I guess not as exciting for Gaboo as I thought, but good to keep that from Cheeky. Yeah. It's also the Osberg Wagon and Eye of Horus on the map. There's Tusk of the Iron Ball, which is a huge relic. It scales for top of us, which uh, would come in handy for Gaboo later in the game. But not, not too many important for this specific matchup, I think. Oh, I like these raids with the Valkyrie getting straight onto that ox car, trying to take it away. But uh, Gaboo's on top of that one with his Hursa. He's gonna he's gonna be able to actually maybe even yeah. trap this Valkyrie here. Oh no, the Valkyrie gets out. Unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, where is Gaboo? Yeah, Gaboo has to keep hunting. I, he can't stop hunting. Yeah. That's yeah. one nice thing that you do have as Odin here is that Cheeky's been able to hunt, hunt, hunt in his base with the uh, Great Hunt. And we have Gaboo coming out front. Yeah, he's just so much hunt. I can't believe he's still in his base. He's like gathered all of those deer. Now he's on board and he still has an Auroch left and he's just like mm -hmm. spamming, spamming units at the moment. But what's he sleeping like? Throwing Axeman, Hursa and an idle Longhouse. Oh, and two throwing axe, okay, two throwing axe on a hearse. So this looks like a classic yeah. Odin strategy here. It is it's kind of a variant on the Thor against uh, Loki stra um, uh, four seti strategy, uh, where you you stay in your base, you mass throwing axe, when you try and get to the heroic edge through Skadi, and then you win the game with Ragnarok. That's the plan. Um, and he does have a back gold mine, which should be able to be defended with enough buildings there. So we'll see if that. Will work yeah. out for him, or if Gaboo can take this game with a strong flaming weapons play. That is a nice gold mine. No, yeah. oh, doesn't quite kill that old Sark. Painful. Uh, uh, yeah, I would imagine with how Gaboo is playing here, he's yeah. going to want to try to do a pretty quick heroic age, which is pretty standard. Yeah, and Cheeky Repeater should be uh shouldn't be grabbing that second town center until he clicks uh, heroic age, but it does look like he's going for it. Going for that second yeah, time. You want to have that frost ready for, for the flaming weapons. Yeah, because it doesn't matter when you get Mythic Age. It matters uh, that you can stop the flaming weapons, right? So if you get Mythic Age and you haven't taken too many um, losses in your village account, there's not a lot that Loki can do. Uh, but the attacks coming down onto the Longhouse of Cheeky Repeater, if uh, Gibu takes this Longhouse down, that's a lot of uh, military production just to stop there, considering it's like 33% reduction, right? So there's only three yeah. uh, three military buildings for Cheeky Repeater here. I mean, he could build with another one. <laughs> well, yeah, he, but he has no wood. <laughs> Stay on that gold mine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, now I got the army coming back, so not so much. Yeah, I mean, gaboo has got to be happy about seeing that second town center going up. He did have the spy on the old side. The armor is down. Again, Gabu falling victim to his uh, his a poor macro decision. 16 dwarves on gold now, 900 gold in the bank. And he's still building dwarves to gold. Had he put those onto uh, pigs right now, he would be advancing through to the uh, through to the heroic age. And as the gold mine is expiring for uh, for Cheeky Repeater, it could be it could be lights out just with a flaming weapons attack on the second gold mine taking down the town center and the uh, and battle ball is incoming but fortunately it's Gaboo, yeah it's not even close to the heroic age uh, and that's I'm not, uh, i think again we see gabu with a big score lead but i think that's just courtesy of all the resources he's got in his bank well cheeky's got a lot of 
Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have as much. He's doing a similar, a similar mistake with uh, with uh, with cheeky repeating. Just too many, too many dwarves on gold. I mean, it's not so bad. He's only got eleven there, but he's building food villages with the gatherers, and he's spending all of his food on Ursa, and he's not hunting anymore. So it's just a little bit challenging for him to to keep that keep those resources low. Um, I guess in terms of gold. Cheeky should really get um, really get husbandry. Oh, he doesn't have husbandry. Oh, I mean, he's man. got a ton of. Oh. Yeah, without without husbandry, you are. Uh, these pigs are basically worth the same as chicken, right? And chicken gather extremely slowly. Uh, and it kind of they aren't. Uh, they'd be fattening up a little bit faster. Yeah. We seeing that well there's the heroic age so we're gonna see about 11 a minute and 15 second heroic age for gibu 10 minutes 30 into the game the walls coming up for cheeky repeater this is perfect this is what you want you have the uh the throwing axe when you get the walls around your goal mine double walls even and then the herso just can't come through because the throwing axe are there to greet them with their um with their damage and there's just no real way for uh the loki army to get onto the gold mine so things are Things are gonna work. Out. Yeah, they're good. That's what you need to do. Um, so now, if uh, Cheeky Repeater can get his economy in the right uh, order, so that he can get to the heroic age, uh, it's uh, his game to lose. It sort of looks like. He's still gonna be a bit away. Oh, we got a forward town center grab for Kabu. Very forward. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like this. I didn't even think about this as a possibility. Grabs the Ford Town Center, potentially throw down a hill for here, uh, and then he secures the next two gold mines. So Cheeky Repeater, he's only he's got four thousand five hundred gold left here, but if he can't get to the Mythic Age off this one large gold mine, then uh, that's it. This poor Valk got. Look at this poor Valk in between the two oh, walls. Man. Gets, <laughs> gets trapped, but getting uh, getting some pickoffs there. He's a free Valkyrie, so he can throw it away. And, now we're seeing the army of Gabu moving in. Got the Ford Temple. He's learned from the last game's mistakes, so he can build those battle balls straight into the fight. I'm um, going to be trying to take down these walls, but the throwing axemen are here. There is no uh, no form of medium infantry coming in, which you really need if you want to be fighting this. Um, and Gabu decides that's too many units here, and he's going to be retreating for now. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why he's not fighting behind the walls. This is a terrible idea. Maybe trying to force the flaming weapons and then run behind, but he doesn't need to. He can just stand behind the walls. Yeah, that was too far forward, you're right. Now he's in a good spot. Yeah, he's, he's behind the walls, managed to get there at 12.30. So the, uh, the Skadi is incoming as well. And oh, if this temple comes down, it does open up this fight a little bit. Medium infantry has come through as well. Flaming weapons coming down. Oh, nice frost giant spawn and and Chikopi doesn't really have that money places to retreat to. But frost comes through just in the nick of time. Gets to gets to get a lot of free damage down now. And, and as soon as the frost is over, um, they're gonna have to retreat. I'd love to see Chiki Repeater throw down some walls here and just trap this army in here with him. But just going for the damage at the moment. Yeah, that frost came in just in the time. I mean, the walls slowed Kaboo down enough. Yeah, we got the... could still win if he just holds his position. That's that's true, but we've got the, the town temple coming up. The the economy from Cheeky Repeater is pretty good, and if he throws down a market relatively soon after this is uh, sort of dealt with, gets out enough frost giants, these battle balls stop being an issue. Um, and he should be able to defend and then just go Mythic Age. Yeah, and uh, do you think he goes up rank, I would assume, right? Yeah, for sure. Four gold lines for, for Gabu as well, so you don't even have to kill off the home base, you just sit on the gold mines. Almost no heroes for a repeater right now. That's gonna be that might be a problem. Yeah, this is a huge issue right now. He's only got the two heroes, and they got one frost giant out. There's just too many battle ball here, and and these are just gonna just make these throwing axemen look completely useless as well. Um, but Chica Repeater is sitting full population basically, so 
It's not like he's, he's, he's gonna be struggling. He's got defender's advantage, sort of. That's four buildings for Gaboo, so it's not really existent. But Gaboo making the push, and making it seem like it's possible here. Another free fryer frost giant, so keep freezing these pigs. Yeah, if he can keep them frozen, it's really, really good for him. He's got a, a, a rhyme coming out, so these frost giants become even stronger with more, uh, more special abilities to be used. Uh, and Gabu just sitting, it's not very much population, 89 population to 108 population. And Chiku Peter snuck the third town center of Gabu here as well during this fight. Um, so he's got his foot on the man. gas and he's not letting up. Oh man, he, uh, if Gabu was paying attention, he saw those villas run past his own hunt. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go with he did not see that. I was such a sneaky player out there. He's moving on to the forward hunt here. And Chico Peter doesn't really need the forward hunt, though. He could just be sitting on this gold line, which he's not going to be doing. He's going for the hunt. But uh, if he gets, uh, he's got 800 gold in the bank, and all he needs right now is, uh, sorry, food in the bank. All he needs right now is that market. And uh, he's going to be in a real good position. Oh, I... Ooh, here comes a herser to scout it. Will he see? Oh, he's definitely going to see the town center coming up. No, he Smiling. didn't. Oh, he he did going... not see it. Oh, he's, he's attacking the town center now. Oh, now he got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the gatherers are coming off the food line in order to fight back here. If I was... Oh, I mean, she repeated could, could just, like, transfer on some offsock here as well. He should be able to deal with this as long as he doesn't get a Mithu next spawn. Fire Giant push on the bottom too. Oof. Fire Giant? Where's the Fire Giant? What are you talking about? Or Frost Giant, I mean. Yeah. Sorry. Frost Giant. Oh, now he retreats though. Uh, yeah, I feel like he, he doesn't need to take the he doesn't need to take the fights. He's got the resources now to advance. He just hasn't have a market yet. He's got the market coming up. Ragnarok's going to be incoming. This forward base is uh is kind of being uh, survived. What did he spend resources on then? He just spent a bunch of resources on something instead of uh, oh he's just building um bronze and bronze mail and uh, bronze bronze weapons instead of clicking up here. Um, could be getting those as you advance, but that's fine. The town center will come up now for uh, Cheeky Repeater, and then uh, Ragnarok's going to be incoming here. Come up. That should not have gone up. All, all Gabu needed to do was just send his Woodvilles over. Yeah. And he, he could have stopped it. Yeah, if he did the villager fight back. The, yeah. Now, now uh, Cheeky Repeater's out of gold in his side of the map, because he's not going to be able to push here. I mean, he should actually be able to push with the Frost Giants, but... Balder's incoming. Does Gabu have a response to this? He's going to be going through Hell himself, looks like. Yeah, Hell's incoming, but uh, if if uh, Cheeky Repeater gets, he doesn't have it yet, but if he gets that technology, which gives him bonus damage versus uh, flying units, these throwing Axemen actually just rip through the, uh, the Nidhogg. But he does need to get that technology. He does. It, it, it gives throwing X-Men, I think it gives him more range too, so he, he should oh. get it anyway. Yeah, more range and like plus 100% or plus 200%. Let me just check what, it, what it's called. The uh, Axe of Muspel, 250% versus uh, flying units. It's gigantic technology. Yeah. Right now it looks like we're trading town centers here. The villagers are on the gold mine, just waiting to be turned into rag heroes. Uh, Cheeky Repeat is a, what's this, 68%, 70% uh, Mythic Age. Oh, and the Hursa are going to see the see the villagers, and they're going to start attacking this, maybe getting some some nice kills. Uh, Cheeky Repeat is trying to retreat here, and he's just he's just waiting. He's got 80%. He's probably going to be able to get most of these turned into uh, rag heroes, but this is a nice little amount of damage for Gaboo onto Cheeky Repeat's uh, potential rag heroes. Now we've got all of the... Yeah, go on. I think the regs got it. I think Gaboo's too far behind. Yeah, so long as Gaboo makes the correct decision with these rag heroes, I mean, I don't think there's a wrong decision here because there's no watchtowers. Um, oh, so, all it is is just attack and you, you'll win. Yeah. Like Gaboo has nothing. Let's manage to take the town center down though. And Cheeky Repeat has got no resources in the bank, basically. Um, did he end up getting. Axe of Muspel. Well, he didn't get it. So this uh, this this Nidhogg is going to be a little bit more effective than it otherwise would be. 
Um, if you can, if you can uh, burn through these uh, these throwing axemen, he still hasn't. No, he hasn't. Uh, he's looking to try and get the resources it looks like to buy it, but not going to be getting it for just yet. Yeah. Kaboo's just stuck though. He's at 115 pop. How is he ever going to get an army to fight this? Oh, yeah, he's got so many resources in the bank as well. It's just too many units here. 102 population to uh, 93 population is going down to 273 population. There's no way. Yeah, there's no gold no left for uh, for Gaboo either. So he's only got what he's got left in the bank. Skip. The lone Ready. throwing axeman throwing axes at the Nidhogg, and I guess Chiggy Repeater can kind of just ignore this Nidhogg at this point. Yeah, that was the care. Yeah. Like he's gonna just go for the town center. Doesn't want to take out anything else. Should probably right click on the uh, on the Nidhogg with all his throwing axemen. But... Yeah, it looks like he's kind of doing it now. Well, no, yeah. he's not. Because once all the throwing axemen die, this Nidhogg doesn't actually have anything to kill it. Funnily enough, but he takes so long to kill off a Rag Zero that, that it doesn't really matter. <laughs> All the town centers down for Kaboo now. And there's the tap out. GG, well played by Chiki hey, Repita. Yeah. It's two wins for him now. Boo kind of went all in on that gold mine and never quite got it, which cost him. Like, yeah. if he would have seen all that stuff, like, those villas, Cheeky's villas on the right were like way forward for so long while Gabu had map control. I mean, obviously, watching the record a game gives us full knowledge, but I mean, you just imagine if Gabu just holds his position and then runs over and finds those villas, that's a completely different game. Yeah, in the in the end, uh, this this matchup and this uh, and this specific game really came down to macro. If Gabu macroed correctly, he would have been heroic age at the right time. Those walls wouldn't have been set up. Goldmine would have been really difficult to defend. Flaming weapons would have done so much more damage. Scardi wouldn't have come uh, at the right time. And and um, Cheeky Repeater wouldn't have got that rag out. But as it were, the macro was not there. And uh, Scardi came in time. And, and all of those Loki advantages just did not amount to enough. Yeah, I needed just like a minute faster on the age up, which was possible with a little yeah. bit better macro. But yo, nope. 